<sighs> Greetings and salutations. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. And I not have just found out, but I've been hearing stories about a certain Miley Cyrus and her twerking incidents. I originally meant this video to be aimed at me talking about some other issue, but I kind of feel like this needs to be attached first for some weird, bizarre reason. But not because, oh, I am a black person who is offended by the fact that someone else took my culture. Because, ironically, being a black person, here I am, coming in with my Irish his rogue accent. But I also do a very good German accent. I don't do it because... Yeah. You might say, oh, it sounds wrong because I said it. And because I'm, you know, I'm black. Which is the only reason I think we need to accept the fact that our culture pretty much is a mutt culture. It's what it is. As we are all different races for some reason, someone had, someone copulated with another person, and boom, baby. Sorry folks, that is part of the thing. However, I agree with what some people say, maybe Myri did push a line, but to me it's not the racial thing that's pushing it, because I'm thinking, you know what, we might as well just get used to it, people are going to steal from black culture, what needs to be done about it is maybe we need to make sure people understand just because black people do it doesn't mean you should do it. In fact, I don't even think Miles is doing it because oh, she's racist. No, I think she's doing it because I hate to say this, folks. We're all up there twerking on our little you know, we black girls we're all twerking behinds. You know, I can't do it. I, not have a, I may have a butt, but <laughs> I can't do that, you know, I cannot move my butt in that gyrating mo movement. And the thing is, people go on to say, yes, she was twerking. She really wasn't twerking, not the way I've seen some black girls do it on the internet. Okay, I have not seen it, and I would probably stay. If she was doing it, it was really hard to tell, Miley. <sighs> that she probably is not very good at it herself. She... I hate to break it to you, but baby ain't got back. Okay? She just ain't got it. <laughs> Another thing I want to bring up is... Why does this... Next would be just with, uh... I can't remember his name, not that it's important. But... Why is a 36-year-old man and a 20-year-old trying to do sexual acts with each other? And I love how he's in a Beetlejuice costume. Yeah, we get it, folks. Beetlejuice was possibly a pedophile. Yeah, I believe he is washing my hands of it. Like, completely. But at the same time... I don't think of them doing that as wrong, you know. I think of it as just a mindless little act that, sadly, the VMAs try to pass off as entertainment for all. Okay? Yeah. And the reality is... I wish I could say I cared that she was doing any of this. The only thing that I think crossed the line was pretty much that age. That's it. Because, yes, they might be right. Miley probably was doing this because she wasn't thinking. Okay. And I agree. Okay. 
I think I would be more upset if I saw Paula Dean get up there and say, Oh, I'm not racist. I wasn't aware that this was racist. Even though, here's how I look at, oh yes, lastly, the twerking thing. She stole from black culture. Okay, I want all of those, and yes, I'm aware of the fact that I can't see them. And folks, I want you all to raise your hands and say if you were personally offended by the fact that Miley, a white girl, oh, who's saying nothing but country music for most of her you know, pre-adolescent life, get up there and twerking her little butt off, was offended and thought, she stole from black culture. Yeah, put them down. Those people, well, okay, still, I'm fine if you stay subscribed to my channel, but, uh, okay, just, and I'm not trying to tell people to get over it and pretend it doesn't exist. I'm just saying, I'm personally not offended by it because it's like big fat deal. So, we've had, we've had worse. Yes, I'm aware of the fact that there have been people like Bo Derek who stole the little, you know, corn roll things. Okay. I understand there might be a reason to why it's offensive, but no one's ever been really quite clear about it being offensive. If you understand what I'm saying, is that to me, the only thing that's offensive is, oh, they stole from our culture, which I'm going, no, they borrowed. You can still twerk if you want to. You're free to twerk. What I hate is that you still have people up there twerking, you know, or, you know, you get that random idiot who goes like, hey, you're twerking like Miley Cyrus. And she's not twerking. <laughs> I hate saying this, but no, she wasn't really twerking, folks. What it looked like was she got drunk, and they tried to do a wheelbarrow race, and for some odd reason, Miley just wasn't cooperating. Okay, that's what it looked like. It just looked silly. Okay, okay, and dumb. Really, really dumb. And I was getting offended over the fact that Oh, she stole from black culture. I'm more concerned by the fact that they thought this was supposed to pass as entertainment in our country. Yeah, I didn't watch the VMAs, but I know I heard, and I've had to put up with it a lot. And the last stole. Oh. Mm, let's see, I slept for five hours today, so. I think I heard enough about Miley for today, but, yeah. I'm sorry if this video comes off as incoherent about why I don't like it. And more of why this basis came up, but still. Seriously, Miley. Seriously, world. Anyways. I plan to be back with something about uh, Bradley Manning, but I gotta do some research into that before I make any points about it. Anyways, see ya. That is Emily Nomani signing out. That's why I just went to a my regular voice when I said that. Anyways, bye.